be back on my sofa on Tuesday I uploaded a new video a new playlist although <laughs> that's not quite true because the playlist has been around for quite some time it's just that I haven't been back in the garden until recently Just checking I'm doing this right. You know how it is you pick up something and you think, have you done have you picked up the right bit? <laughs> no. Right, I'm just doing that now. Yeah, so if you've not seen it already, please go to my garden vlog, episode one. It's called Beginning Again. And I'll from time to time, I think probably when I've got something to talk about in the garden, I shall upload a little vlog. Things are moving fast in there. We're making um, a greenhouse or we've got the materials to make a greenhouse. After it got blown to bits in a storm, I think it was either back in January or February, which was very disappointing and we've never really got round to doing anything until the weather got better. So anyway, you get a little tour of my garden and there's some great music on there. I've tried to um, link it with the story. The introduction music is called um, Today is a Good Day to Live. And it's talking about starting again, basically, you know, when um, life throws challenges at you then the next piece of music is called wandering nomads which is particularly appropriate to us for the past eight years <laughs> in scotland and the highlands and the islands and then the last piece of music i think it's the last one Yeah, I think it's the last one, the last main one anyway, is um, called Weathering the Storm. So, yeah, I think they're all appropriate and I love the music and I get quite a few comments about my music. So I thought I'd just let to give you a little um, hint as to some of the music I'm using and how I use my music. I pick titles that are appropriate to the particular um story I'm trying to tell. I've just started a new garment in um, a few odd balls of uh, Jameson's of Shetland Spindrift and I'm started with a little lacy collar here it's coming a little bit it's using the new shell and can you see that I'm developing a little abstract pattern I'm sort of and I don't know if it's gonna work here we go I'm sort of trying a um, Fibonacci <laughs> style mathematical equation so we'll see how that goes. 
it's not a true um, Fibonacci equation, but we'll have a go. And I'm using a couple of the colours I had left from my um, other completed object, which I will just uh, show you a piece of film from. And these are the colours I'm using for this, for this one. It's more muted, but it has a little, a little bit of brightness in it. I'm looking forward to seeing how that turns out. I got the proper cups out yesterday. We had some friends around for the first time in a very long time. So I got my Port Merion out, which I'd bought on eBay because I kept breaking Malky's Port Merion. He likes collecting china, does Malk, but so do I. We're both the same. We're very much um, little magpies when it comes to that. He also likes collecting art. He has his particulars and he actually we actually bought the same picture twice by accident <laughs> would you believe that so one is on that wall and the other's on that wall <laughs> but it's a local artist a textile artist actually so you see he's 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 quite a bit of um he likes his tech textiles as well now I'm calling this a special edition because what I wanted to show you was my recent trip to a friend's showroom and it's in the part of the island that has the most amazing views. So I did my best this weekend. I took my camera and filmed a little, almost like a marketing video in a way. It's a bit strange that, isn't it? But I filmed that today and I'm going to show you that later in the, in the episode. So please stop around, don't disappear because it's absolutely amazing. One of the most amazing views on the isle, island, the mainland of Orkney. I also did a little bit more filming. So I've had quite a bit of film filming to do over the past few days. So I'm, I'm feeling a bit brushed. Um, Thursday, I filmed in the garden. Friday, I filmed the showroom. Saturday I filmed in Stromness. Yesterday I, well when I got home from that I made a meal for Sunday and Sunday we had our friends around and then by last, by sort of one o'clock this morning, last night, whatever you want to call it, my brain was overworking so i had to come down and i was here on my sofa until about five o'clock in the morning trying to calm my brain down with some knitting knitting is good focus for me and it's one of those places where you can knit away your your anxieties the, if these needles could speak you know what i mean they have travelled many crooked paths. So yeah, so hang around for that. Uh, hang around for the showroom because it is, it's lovely. It's just in such a lovely position and he, and I'm not going to give any more clues away at the moment because we'll talk about that later. But the title of my video this week is 
how can 6,000 viewers be wrong? Episode 24 has been the highest amount of views I have had. And if you go back there, you might understand why. Because I tackled the question of using acrylic yarns. And I still have people coming and going on my subscribers. I've not really, in the past three episodes, moved any higher up on my subscriber list. Although I now have about 719 subscribers. And considering about a month or two back, I was only on 55. I, I'm not complaining. <laughs> but you know what I mean? So, and I did say in episode 24, I was wondering if it was because in episode 23, I took, I was knitting an acrylic suit, the daffodils and tulip suit. Now, I went, wore this in Elgin and everybody loved it. Absolutely everybody loved it. They didn't care what it was made out of. They just loved the colour and they, they almost thought it was a dress, which is what I wanted them to think. So that worked. Anyway, I am going to immerse you in my acrylic designs wardrobe. And I want you to tell me. Did I do something wrong? articles of clothing I can I am starting now I've got some yarns coming I've got some cotton yarn coming from woolly knits um, and I want to um, 
convert some of those patterns I've done into cotton items. Oh, just a little, just a little um, side point here. Um, somebody commented, oh, I can't remember which video it was, but it was a very valid point that um, cotton is not grown in Europe. Agreed, cotton is not grown in Europe. Well, I presume it's not grown in Europe. It's not supposed to be grown in Europe. I'm going to say it that way. And that what I'm talking about is cotton grass. Agreed. We call it bog cotton. I feel as if I'm stretching that stitch a bit. I might be. Mm, come back to that. Um, oh, yeah, I am stretching that sit stitch. I've come to the end of my round. And you know what my problem is? He says I haven't put my ring in. So I, I'm, I'm forgetting where I'm getting up to. So let me just go back a wee bit. Or as we say in Orkney, a peedy bit. And don't knock me peedies. I love me peedies. I love saying PD. I like saying we as well, but PD is, is great. So just get one of my rings. There you go. So what was I saying? I can't remember now. So I'm sorry if this video is not very fluent. But, back to the acrylic. So, all, to all my woolly f followers, I am not abandoning my wool. And I'm not trying to tell everybody else that they should be using acrylic. It's just a choice, isn't it? And if you want to leave, I understand that. If you, but you're going to miss out on all the other stuff I do in wool and in cotton and in plant fibres. Like I said before, you know, if you. Oh, I'm definitely doing this wrong. If you just concentrate on one yarn then you're not being inclusive to all of those who cannot or have some belief system that says that they they would rather use acrylic because it fits in with their feelings towards um, it's a hard one, isn't it? It's just like, I mean, let's think about it. If you're a vegan, quite often people would rather use plant-based yarns or they are, uh, acrylic is an acceptable yarn to them. Some people need something that is anti-tickle. Acrylic on the main is anti-tickle. There are, I think there is one or two, maybe of the cheaper ones that are not so anti-tickle, but on the whole, they're anti-tickle. Yeah, I'm doing this right. You know what? I always do a pattern row when I'm talking, don't I? <laughs> so I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop there because otherwise I'm going to lose my pattern. So it's, it's on wool anyway, so we're not on that, uh, on that. I actually didn't film this bit, but I am now, I am sitting next to a shawl 
that is made in Stylecraft Special DK with lots of different colours and a flower. Let's put it on. I love this shawl because you know what? I designed a little something different into it. So I'm just going to put it over me like that. I've got that end. I see the flower. I didn't sew all the way around it. I left a gap. So I'll put that in there now. And that holds my shawl together. And I like the flower. Now I designed that in acrylic and I made it in acrylic in all sorts of different colours. But I could easily have done that in a double knit um, yarn. There are pre plenty around as I've already said. Even I could do this in a beautiful, in a spindrift double knit. You know what I mean? Jameson and Shet Jameson's of Shetland do a double knit. I could have done it in that. One ball of each colour would have been great. But what is also interesting is we always talk about mixed media. So why don't we just mix styles of yarn that we have in an outfit? Um, just a moment. So the jumper. Oh, we'll do it with the there now that jumper there that's lovely that i love the peplum on that <laughs> i love the little edging on the bottom it's a bell sleeve like i said it would be now you know i've got a purple top on i'm gonna eat that a moment magenta but you know let's do that you see the colors just fit in with that lovely shawl so judge me or not and I don't mind I'm not getting on a bandwagon about this I just want to acknowledge the fact that 6,000 viewers decided they wanted to have their say and I had a lot of comments on that one, a lot of likes, and I interacted with all the comments. That's what I tried to do. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there today. And keep watching now for a little bit of vlogginess over on the west mainland of Orkney and I hope you enjoy that and I'll see you next time um perhaps you'd just like to like and comment on what you think about about it I think there's a lot of people talking about it at the moment I don't know if that's because I've started it off or maybe it was there before but I just never noticed you know what I mean and I'm going to finish my cup of tea. Oh, and don't forget to watch my garden vlog. I'm really proud of that. And it's going to be a little journal of how we begin again in our garden. And um, yeah, that was uploaded on Tuesday. And the next one, I don't know when the next one will be. Yeah, lovely to speak to you again. And um, see you next time.